All right, we're working the place bowl. I want you to work wherever you are within your training process. So if you're still guiding your dog to it and working on pivoting that back end, that's fine. We want the dog to be able to pivot left and right. We want them to have that rear end awareness. If you're past that, then I want you to put your dog on the bowl and then stand next to the bowl how I am and have your dog pivot around into heel position. So just like this. Super, super simple. And if you can, have them pivot back. So pause on the bull, pivot into heel position. It doesn't have to be perfect. We want our dog to understand that they're able to pivot in position to get into heel. Cause we know when we're teaching heel without the bull in the beginning, we're doing this big movement. But once your dog knows how to get into that position and they understand they can pivot their back end, you'll end up having that pretty looking heel. Well, if your dog doesn't back up like she just did, but you get what I'm saying. All right, who's gonna go first, please? Well, if you, if you need to help get him to pivot his back end, so you're bringing your hand up to help him a little bit, that's fine, but start with the turn first because we want him to be able to pivot when you do that power steering. So good, move a little bit, now help with your hand. Once he steps, mark and reward. Good boy. So start with your hand first before you help with your, I'm sorry, start with the lure before you help with your hand. Lure so first, I, then help. What yep. do you mean lure first? So what like, I mean is, uh, yeah, so like if I have the food, yes, and I'm trying to get him to pivot, I'm gonna turn his head first, okay, okay. then help. Uh, yes, okay, okay, then okay, reward. Okay. So this becomes an turn. indicator or a cue for this, yep. yes, and then I reward. So then when I go to turn, he goes, the next thing you're gonna do is push my hip, so I might as well do it on my own. Okay, okay. I'm like, I am giving, I am luring him, but yeah. face his, turn his neck. Okay. Oops. Ready? And then once, yes. We'll go back this way. Again, try to turn his head first and then the oh hand. Boy. You don't want to do them at the same time. Okay. And you know why, right? I'm going to mix it up for him. No, did it make sense? Because if I take him, right, okay. and I go to get him to turn a little bit this way, then the next thing I do is I help him. Yes, see and that then... time. So then he starts to learn, oh, when you pivot this way, the next thing you do is help turn my butt. So now he's already doing it. Same okay. thing if I go this way. I want his paws on there. Now I start to turn. Now I help. Okay. Yes. So then remember, whatever comes first is what the dog is learning. So if I turn him first, he's learning the turning of the head is what gets the back end to move. But if I do it at the same time, if I do this, then he's not gonna learn it. Okay. The lure has to come first. Always remember, whatever comes first is what the dog is learning. So at this Anything point, else is simply assisting or helping with the learning <laughs> process. So right now I'm gonna tilt his head and then I'm gonna push his butt if he doesn't go. If he needs the help, yeah. And then I'm gonna give it to him. Yes. Afterwards. Hello. Ready? There we go, start walking around and then, yes. Good boy. Also, it might help to, just like you're doing the backwards follow, keeping your hand up against your body. So if I'm holding it here and I'm starting to turn, see, he's already starting to turn a little bit. Okay. And I'm keeping my hand up against my body. Now when I'm going this way, I switch to my right hand in case I need to assist. Yes, very good. Yes, very good. But see how his head's turned first? Yes, excellent. Yes, very nice, okay. right? I feel like I'm concerned about his paws on the bowl as well. So that's why I'm like stopping and I'm like, uh. Yeah, but if you notice, if you keep yourself well, positioned center the same way I was. Okay, yes. He will. Get his attention. See, I'm like right here. I'm, I'm keeping my hand and see how he's, he's doing this direction very nicely. This is a side that's a little bit more difficult for him. There, now he's going. Right, so I, we see how quick he's able to figure it out. I try to do spin with him. So hopefully, I don't know if that's helping a little bit. And also when you're turning like that, your body helps give him a little bit of guidance too. There you go, good. He took a step, so I would have marked and rewarded that. Yes. Boom, another step, beautiful. Let's go this way. Good boy. Every, every little step, yes. yes. See, once your hand leaves your legs, okay, it's not, it doesn't seem to be working as well. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good boy. 
Good, now you can try going back the other way. One little step, that's what I'm gonna mark. Good, Mark. I would be marking those steps yes. and rewarding. Oh, I'm, I'm releasing the food. Oh, okay. Yes. So too much for me right now. <laughs> yeah, no, it's all right. He's making well, the I'm connection. I'm going back a step. I'm not gonna praise him right now. No. No. Sorry, well, I- Well, don't tell him I, no. No, I'm telling myself no, because I'm like releasing the food. That's why it's me. <laughs> Yes. But if you're using no for him in any way, you don't want to yeah. be telling yourself no. <laughs> yes. 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 Very nice. Okay. So that way looks good. Now let's do another one the other way, and that should be good for him. Okay. Yes. Good boy. Beautiful. Yes. Look how much progress he made in this one short session. Yes. yes. <laughs> good. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Nice. Yes. Free. Yay. Good job. Um, so I'm going to try to, he's, he's following, he's pivoting like this pretty well. So I'm going to try to stand next to him and see if I can get him to turn. So I'll put him in that position and then. Yes. Oh Very nice. Boy. That looked good. And then to reset it, just... Yeah, you can just lure him. You can have him come off of it and come back on. It really doesn't matter. Good boy. Yes. That's one of the beautiful things about the flexibility we have when we're not using commands. Yes. Good boy. Good boy, Chapo. And you can have him go the other way, too, if you like. Oops. This one's a little tricky. Beautiful. Very nice. Yes. Yes, go boy, Chapo. That looks really good. Yes, go boy. Go boy, Chapo. So I would probably do a couple more and that should be good for him for this exercise. Yes. Free. <laughs> go boy, Very Chapo. nice. Go boy. That looked good. good that was excellent. Awesome. Did you have any questions about it? Uh, no, I think just on the other side, like remembering which way to position your hand is a little tricky. Yeah. Otherwise they're like, uh, which way do I go? And then you're mm -hmm. flipping it. Oh, and yeah. if your dog is going to the bowl pretty quickly, like both these dogs did, yes. you can add a command for that because we are going to use this bowl to help give our dogs a target when we're working on jumps and things like that. It helps quite a bit if the dog knows to jump and go to a target and that will create muscle memory. So now they're not jumping and turning right towards you or something like that. That'll help when we do the stick jump because we all have to do a stick jump too. The stick jump, you're going to put your dog in a sit, you're going to hold out the stick and say jump and the dog has to jump it. Mm -hmm. And when we practice that, we have a target for the dog to go to, that becomes their habit. So then you say jump and the dog will go there even if there's no bowl. Instead of jumping, because what you'll find is they'll jump very close to you because they want to come to you at that okay, point. Yeah, awesome. And uh, you're going to explain what you're doing? All right, so first of all, I'm uh, just getting him comfortable on the bowl. And now we're going to get him to pivot to the heel position. Okay. Now what we'll do is I'll take him out of the heel position Make sure both of his paws are still on the ball. Now we're good. Let's wait. Oh, that's my bad. Okay. It's an honest mistake. Let's keep him on that. Let's give him a pause. And back into the heel position. Okay. That looks really nice. Are you going to do the other way as well? Sure. That's a good command. It's my original side. I should be more comfortable in doing this on that side. Get it tough. Your power steering is coming along very, very nicely. And you can move your body too a little bit if you need to help him by going around the circle or the bowl in the direction you want him to go. Okay. Do I want him to sit at the end or just like the, you don't just the movement, to. right? Just the movement right now. A lot of times they don't want to sit when their paws are on the place on the bowl, bowl yeah. or the perch, whatever you want to call it. Okay, let's go. 
My main focus during this exercise is getting the dog more aware okay. of that rear end. Okay, let's stop. And yeah, yeah it looks oh. really nice. I would do maybe one, maybe two more, and that's a good session for him. Okay. I'll do one last one, and we'll be good to go. And Who's then maybe next? one last one after that one, and then one last one after that one. <laughs> Yeah, left off. Yeah. Okay, left off. Okay, left off. Okay, left off. Excellent. Nicely done. Okay, left off. Thank you. Do you have any questions on it? I, originally, I had him on the right side, but I decided that I wanted him on the left, so I started working out, working this out only on the left side. So now I'm really good on both sides, so I'm, I probably should randomize it a little bit yeah. more. But I think it is better for the dogs in the long term. Yeah, and for me. Just but to nice. know the handle on both hands. Yeah, it looked really good, though. I will it. Yes. That's early. All right, so, same, so what are you, where, where are you at right now with this? Just getting him to pivot his back end? Yes. All right, cool. I didn't, the thing you just did for the heel, I didn't know how to do that. That's why I never tried it. I didn't know where to put the bowl, but now I know. Well, this is the first step. So the first step is we get our dogs to place their paws on the bowl. Then we teach them how to pivot their back end. So it looks really good. For those of you watching from home, if you first are attempting this, we don't have to get multiple steps like this puppy is. Okay. That's because James has already been working this. So that looks okay. good. Can you get him to go the other way? And get his attention so he's not playing with the grass. There I we go. I didn't realize I dropped some of his food already. Now pivot back the other way if you can. There we go. Very nice. That looks very nice. So you probably can get them to pivot around into position. So put the food in your left hand and get them to pivot around that way. Use so, that power steering. Very nice. So beautiful. And that's what we want to see. We want to see the puppy being able to swing into position. I gotta now, like I arm. said, it is also good to have them pivot the other way. So what you can do is you can stand on the other side of the bowl and pivot in with your uh, right hand. Okay. So try that. That looked really nice. Because we want the dogs food. to be able to pivot left and right. No wonder we're like smelling it out. Yeah. Hot dogs everywhere. There we go. Now work the power steering in the other direction. So get them to pivot to your right. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so get his paws back on the bowl. Good. Shit. And just so the audience knows, uh, say yes every time he's getting a bite of food. Okay. So we know when, when he's getting the reward. My so that arms. looked good. So now you can go back the other way. Yes. We're not yes. really worried about any sort of precision, just the fact that the dog's pivoting around the bowl and finding that they can find different positions by doing that. Yes. Beautiful, look how, excellent. Okay. I would do one more on the other side and that's a good session. Your handling looks really good. So get them facing you. Well, not facing you, but there we go. You know what I mean. You meant what I know. All right, good. Now pivot back the other way. Transfer right over, good. And then pivot. Yay, nice. Very good. Good boy, good dog, good boy. So that was really good. Just depending on where his dog is, he's able to get his dog to place his Come paws on the bolt and then working both sides, pivoting left, pivoting right, all about that rear end awareness and understanding that he can use that to get into his heel position. So that's what this exercise is for and that's what it's going to help with. So then when James has him in front and he says heel, he gets that beautiful, gorgeous looking flip finish. And then we see the big smile that James has from seeing the progress. <laughs> Today's video was made possible by Petapix. Dogs, this is gonna be one of your tricks since we have to do a couple tricks, but it's teaching a dog to press a button. Now you can make these buttons say whatever you want. What I use them for is for the dog to press the button to let me know when they wanna go outside. Now, if you teach a dog that, are they gonna press the button only when they have to go to the bathroom? They're gonna press it when they wanna go outside. If they learn, that's the pattern. Now, if you wanna teach a dog that when they press one of these buttons, that it means go potty and not just go outside, what could you do to teach them that? Does anyone have any ideas? Because we know they learn through patterns, right? If you take him outside, he doesn't go like immediately, then bring him back in the house. 
There we go. So what it's very close to what I do. So if I want to teach a dog pressing this button means I'm going to let them outside, but I want them to go to the bathroom. Once they press the button, I put them on a leash. I take them to where I want them to go potty. I wait three minutes. If they don't go, I take them back inside. I put them in the crate and I wait 20 minutes. Then I take them back out and I repeat the process. This way they learn that when they press that button, it means go to the bathroom and not run outside and bark at the next door neighbor's dog. So you can teach them that it means go potty and not just go outside. But most people are gonna be okay with it just going outside. In addition, this is a fun game people like to teach their dogs. Any questions? All right, come get your Petapix pet talking button set. There you go. You got a pink one? Thank you, Peter Pix. Tim? I only give him like 10 seconds. Thank you. Awesome. Like it, right? like 30 you seconds. Is good. Like if you see and he goes to the right side. Thank you again for watching. As always, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel. Click that notification bell and tag me at Nate Schomer so I can see the progress that you're making at home with your dogs. Thanks again. We'll see you guys in the next one.